Okay, so this example explains how to use a money market hedge to hedge yourself against the fluctuating exchange rate. So this is a South African importer. They import goods from the US in US dollars. Um, the import amount is 100,000 US dollars and it needs to be settled in three months time. So then the US interest rate is 4%, SA interest rate is 12%, payment in three months, and the spot rate currently is 7 Rand 50. You'll see in your notes they give you a spot rate after three months, but that's just to calculate at the end what the gain or loss on the edge was. Obviously, you won't know that at the start uh, of the period, so when you import. So I just deleted that for now. So there's a nifty way to calculate this, and I'll show this to you by way of a drawing. So we import uh, goods of $100,000 to be paid in three months time. So T3 represents the time, so it's in three months time. So how do you hedge yourself against this? Well, in order to have $100,000 US dollars in three months time, because that's what we will need to pay, we could go and invest a certain amount now in the US and earn the 4% in the United States. So how much do we need to invest now that will be will grow at 4% interest rate to 100,000 in three years time? How do we calculate that? So that's what we did here. We divide 100,000 by 1 plus the foreign interest rate, the 4%, times 3 over 12. Because it's only for three months and the four percent is an annual rate. Remember, interest rates are always quoted in, in annual terms, except if they tell you otherwise. So we divide by 1.01. Where does the 1.01 come from again? Remember, it's one plus the foreign rate of four percent times three over twelve. So four times three is twelve divided by twelve is one. So one plus one percent, one point oh one. So if you divide the 100,000 we require in three years' time by 1.01, .01, we end up investing 99,009 rand and 90 cents in the U.S. today. So that will grow to 100,000. Now, in order to invest 99,000 today, we need to borrow money in South Africa. I mean, we are based in South Africa. So at the spot rate of today, 7 rand 50, that equates to 742,574 that we have to borrow in South Africa today, times zero. Now, we will only pay this in three months' time, so it will incur interest. How much will we owe at the end of three months? Well, we have to multiply by one plus the local borrowing rate times three over 12, because it's again only for three months. So the local rate is 12% times 3 over 12, so that equates to 3%. 1 plus 3% 1 is 1.03. So if we borrow uh, 742,000 Rand today, in order to invest 99,000 in the US today, well, then we'll owe, on payment date, 764,851. So we'll have to pay the bank in South Africa 764,000 in time three or three months time. So effectively what will happen? We import the goods today, we don't pay the creditor yet. In three months time we're gonna pay them a hundred thousand US dollars. We will have an investment in the US of a hundred thousand dollars. So there's no risk of the exchange rate moving because we will have the value in dollars. What we will have is a liability in South Africa of 764,851, which we'll have to pay. So the effective interest rate is the random amount we need to pay the bank, 764,000, divided by the US dollar amount that we'll pay over to the supplier from our investment in the US. So that equates to an effective exchange rate of 7 rand and 64.85 cents. And you'll see this is the same as the calculation we use to calculate the forward exchange contract rate or the forward rate. If you look at the, the calculations in red and black here, we have the spot rate multiplied by 1 plus the local borrowing rate divided by 
1 plus foreign interest rate. So that's the formula for the forward rate. Calculate from the spot rate to the forward.